Hey guys, and welcome back to Haunting Ground. When we last left off, we gave Daniela a bit of an acid bath, and a good time was had by all. Anyway, let's continue exploring with our faithful friend. Um, right, now remember this. Remember this from the film reel that we actually had a look at. Now, if we were paying attention, and I'm pretty sure we were, we all know the code. Hmm, I can hear running water. That's interesting. Oh, actually, one thing we should do before we do anything else is have a little look at these notes. A bookshelf is hardly going to stop this thing. Yeah, we read that. Uh, those eyes. Those big eyes almost looks like a child of sorts. The size of a giant and the mind of a child. You should be pitied, not hated. I guess I shouldn't have reacted as I did. This door is different from the others. There's some sort of design etched onto it. This has to mean something. Not enough. Something I've got, or rather, something inside of me. And she needs it. She needs me to get it out of my body it's that weird maid again she keeps staring at herself in the mirror like she hates herself or something i can't see why her skin her eyes her body they all look fine to me oh well blame society i guess <laughs> oh fiona this just keeps getting worse and worse not only am i stuck in this creepy castle but now i have been shut in some place that isn't even on any map I have a bad feeling about this. Huh? I just saw something swimming outside. I know this sounds crazy, but it looked like uh, this fish from a different time period. That I saw once in a museum when I was little. The room on the other side seems to have been designed as a symmetrical match to this one. However, there is something different about that room. Something doesn't feel right. That was the true for... No, was it truth or lies? Or deception or lies room? A synthesizer. It's been placed in this dark and spooky hallway, and it looks like some weird device you'd see in a mad scientist use. God, I miss home. Yeah, well, I mean, you're not wrong. Certainly a mad scientist going to be wielding it. Come on, Huey. Right, remember this. Yes, we're back in that uh, hallway. How we originally got here in the first place to Daniela's domain. So, we also have a door. The door that we need to get through. However, it's got a symbol on it. The Mars symbol. We've done Venus, we've done Jupiter, now we have Mars. Well, you know what that means. Yep, the door is locked because we don't have a Mars key. You see one of those doors, you know you're going to need a key. Oh well. Okay, Fiona, look, I'm going to help you out. Alright, I'm going to get you the key. But, you need to you need to work with me. Me and Huey. We, we're going to sort you out. Don't you worry about it. Refined. Nice. That's, just, that's nice. That's just what we wanted. So at least we can kind of get out of here. Of sorts. We're at the top now. Now, this doesn't bode well. This really doesn't bode well. Now, gee, if you're wondering if this is a trap, then, uh, yes. Yes, it is. So... What happens when we get this trap wrong? Well, you have a few chances to get this tra trap wrong. And unfortunately, Fiona's going to pay the ultimate price for getting it wrong. Yeah. She's got a lot of blood, hasn't she? I 
it does run rather freely as well. Um, I'm sure that's not important. So yeah, three mistakes and it's game over man, game over. But luckily we have our faithful friend. Come on Huey. Go Huey. Huey, show us the way. Now Huey, Huey's a very smart fellow. Smarter than he gets credit for. And just like that, very similar to the puzzle we did earlier. There is a button located on the back of the armor. We're going to push that button. And that turns him off. Because otherwise, you're going to have to remember that pattern. <laughs> but that's fine. Although maybe we should have kept it activated. Ah, who knows? Doesn't matter. Anyway. We're now above the library, which is kind of interesting. Huh? What's this? Hey! I'll go wrong with some nice juicy items. I have a feeling we might be needing them soon. Maybe. Right. Let's drop a save. Because that seems to be the right thing to do. Don't worry about it, Fiona. Everything is all in hand. Or something. Which it's, it's kind of strange, though, how you examine things. Because sometimes there's loads of stuff to examine. And other times, well, you think there'll be loads of stuff to examine. But there just isn't. Anyway. Let's keep going. Well. Looks like we're back into the castle. Kind of. Huey. Definitely getting a very ominous feeling about this. Come on, Huey. Ooh. Very ominous feeling. Oh, I can't get over how good stuff looks. With the character models. Oh, she's crazy. Thanks, Yui. Oh, God. kill whilst we had the chance. Precious, precious little prince. 
So like, does she come with a warranty or? Because something's going on here. Well, let's uh, try and sort something out with her once and for all, yeah? Right. This is going to hurt me. Oh, God. More than it's going to hurt you. Maybe. But it has to be done. So she's jealous of the fact that Fiona, if she chooses, can get laid, I guess. Kind of. But I think it's more about the fact that Fiona can feel the pleasures of a woman. Uh, which, you know, is all fine and well. But there's certainly more to... Oh, dear. Certainly more to being human than that, I can assure you. Uh, crying blood is not really one of these things, you know. Uh, I mean, it's not normal anyway. Uh, let's, let's say that much. All right, Huey, you're doing good, buddy. You, you're doing good. Yep. You're really helping me, <sighs> helping me out here. Right, go, go bite her, okay, buddy? I know it sucks, and unfortunately, Huey, you're going to take a good bit of damage doing this. But, don't you worry about it. You keep taking those uh, those licks, and we will both get out of here. Oh, we've got two lavenders. Really? Okay. Huey, get out. Come on, Huey. Huey, you're not listening, Huey. Huey, get out. Huey! Huey! Look, this takes two of us to do. Okay. I appreciate it. Ooh, you little bitch, you actually hit me. Well, that's not very good. Go, Huey. Yeah, you can laugh all you like, bitch. I did not know you could not come out. That is really good to know. That's really good to know. Huey, go, kill. Huey, kill. Kill it. Okay, I mean, you can kind of scream all you like, love, to be honest, but it's not going to save you. Alright. Might not be able to get you replaced on the warranty but we will disassemble you ourselves see what we can do about the whole situation Ooh, Jesus damn it the Simpsons got something else right you ever see the itchy and scratchy land episode go get her there we go right push push uh, no 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 Huey there we go Huey Good lad. Just move a little bit further over. Thanks, buddy. Um, right. Now. Come over here, please. Thank you. That is a big mirror. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, not sure if she's, like, dead, dead. I mean, she's dead, dead for us. She won't be bothering us again, but not really sure. Shadow of Glass pierced through her body and pins her to the ground. I can't believe things have gotten this out of hand. Yeah, well, when you got to kill your own maid, it's... Yeah. Yeah, things have definitely gone a little bit awry, at least. 
Um, Huey, good lad. Come here. Uh, come here, Huey. Good, good boy. boy. Good boy for helping me murder the help. You're one of the good ones, lad. There we go. And I also give you... Sit. Give Sit. you some paw. Give me some paw. Sit. Sit. Sit, boy. Oi. Sit. Sit. Come on, boy. Sit. Good boy. Now give me some paw. Shake. There we go. Give me some paw. Give me some paw. Shake. Good lad. Right, you did well there, boy. Uh, so, the maid is, well, uh, at the very least, she's stuck to the ground. Uh, she did smile, but I don't know whether she smiled because she was crazy or, well, I guess she's not going to become a real woman anytime soon. Um, not really sure how she could become a real woman with the use of Fiona's body parts anyway, but maybe I'm just not smart enough. Um, it's been a while since I've done biology. So, let's go. At least that's another maniac gone. Even though I'm pretty sure, to be honest with you, she is uh, just a reanimated mannequin. It kind of fits the bill when you think about it, especially with all the mannequins and stuff that we did find. But we got the uh, Mars key, so let's go and put that to some use, shall we? Right. Go stick this in there. Use the Mars key. Excellent. Now, now, now. Look at these little things. Aren't they interesting? Oh, Yeah, these things are fun. They're... Kind of failed creations, I think. But, you know, they're not too bad to deal with. So we've got another hole there that we can go through. Uh, ooh, hello. Now these guys kind of look a bit funny bizarre, but they don't actually attack you, which is rather nice. Um, okay. Uh, now really what we need, just one more strange happening that I don't even want to try and guess at. Yeah, well, don't worry about those for now. Ooh. What do we have here? We can't actually examine the telescope, unfortunately. Or that, for that matter. But we can have a little squiz at this. What's this? Another weeping stone. Yeah, I'm not convinced these are that much cop. Actually, what I will do... Let's give it a bit of the old uh, F1 treatment, shall we? And let's go kick this dude. Because... You can piss these guys off to the point where they slap you. I can't remember if you can piss these guys off to the point where they you get like a unique death from these guys. Let's find out. Uh, he just kind of slaps us around a bit. Might be maybe if you piss them off three times. I remember reading something about these guys, but... I think he's just kind of slapping Fiona around. Which, although somewhat amusing, yeah, isn't really what we're looking for. Okay. So, I'm going to look through this room. Miss Fiona. <gasps> now, if you would please come with me. No, I don't want to. Please let me be. I want to go home. But Miss Fiona, 
You are hell. This whole castle is all yours. Hmm. So, Miss Fiona does not wish to stay at her castle. You miserable wench. You were given the greatest gift of all, and you don't even appreciate it. I can't believe the Azoth was wasted on you. <laughs> you know, now here's me, right, just thinking out loud. Instead of being all cryptic and rapey and too touchy, why doesn't somebody perhaps explain things to her like explain why she has this castle explain the azoth explain why it's so important and give her the choice instead of just being like really weird and creepy because who knows you know maybe she might possibly choose to stay here uh okay it's unlikely right i'll give you that but surely he can see having the groundskeeper wanting to use her as a doll, which would be really uncomfortable, and then having the maid go schizo and try and literally rip her womb out. Um, these do not give one a good impression of your new abode, right? Um... <sighs> So surely you could understand why she's reluctant to <laughs> stay around here. Anyway, let's get a bit of a wiggle on, shall we? Um, unfortunately, this guy is a little bit quicker. This guy is a lot quicker than we used to. But that's okay. We can still run away. So this is where we're what? You know where we are. Oh, that's unfortunate. And we're panicking. <laughs> yes, Yui, kill! Kill it! Let's see if we can take this guy out. We should be kind of back to our old self in a minute or two. Right, there we go. Huey. Oh, God. That was not good. Yeah, if it's not obvious, this guy sucks. He's definitely a little bit more of a pain than our old friend was. Now, what was that? Small amount of stamina. We don't need that. Completely reduces panic. That's what we want. Right, let's see if we can do some damage to this guy get rid of him just so we can have a little think about what we're doing there we go I'm just I can do this all day dude I can literally do this all day and my friend Hugi is kind of quite keen too can you not attack my dog please there we go right that's it Hugi won't get away will we not get away is that right or is that you just completely talking out of your Auschwitz? Right, let's see if we can take him down. This guy's definitely a little bit stronger than Daniela. His gun is pretty savage as well. Which is not fun at the best of times. And you can see he runs after us much faster. Which is kind of problematic. But luckily... Without too much difficulty. As long as we're careful. There we go. Alright, let's just keep going at him. Don't get in the... I'm not sure why we fall over. Sometimes. Go on. Go, get him. There we go. Now, should be able to bring him down. Can you stop kicking my and shooting my dog, please? It really is bloody rude of you, to be fair. Especially dressed as you are. You literally look like a homeless man. 
and I'm not very appreciative of how you're treating my dog and generally been looking after the place. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's the trouble. If we uh, try and challenge him, he is quite difficult to take out. But it's definitely like, it's a nice different little flavor. It's a nice different little flavor to what we're used to. Especially somebody that has a nice bit of range to him. Yeah, you, yeah, we'll, we'll, we're just gonna <laughs> not pay any heed to the sounds that are being made there. Anyway guys, uh, I'm gonna have to cut this one short because we're out of time. Um, looking forward to this. Find it a whole new section with a whole new villain. Uh, you're getting a theme. You should be getting a theme by now. Uh, you defeat one monster, you get another. It's uh, it's kind of like that. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.